Hi, Finks here community. I wanted to introduce you to a random word generator game that jumbles words. Um, I found this game on the question and answer site Stack Overflow, and I thought it was a great example for beginners to learn about um, list slicing I, and reading reading from files, both on the web and from te text files. I, I think it could be of interest for more advanced Python users for looking at how randomness uh, can be used to interact with users, particularly in a game scenario. So without further ado, I'll show you what the code does and via the Replit IDE. I, I thought it would also be a great experience to show you the Replit IDE. So here's an article that I authored on the Finkster site. And you can, at the very bottom of the article, you can see a GitHub repository that's on Finkster's GitHub. And you can click on this link and it takes you to the GitHub. From there, just copy and paste it in, in, in URL, and you can clone it anywhere, but I'm going to clone it on Replit. So I'm going to go to Replit site. Um, I've already created a user, but it's easy for you to create a user. You just you, you can just use a, um, an existing account. It's just only, uh, or you, uh, like existing Google account, or you can just register, but it's usually, it's only a couple you know, clicks. Uh, and, couple inputs away from getting into the uh, actually site. So it's very easy and you don't have to, this is, there's a free tier. Um, so right now I'm just going to create a new REPL and this is just a new code base. So I'm going to create a, import, actually just import it from GitHub and I'm going to use that repo that I just copied, Thinkster repo. Okay, so I think it's in there now, and I'm going to import it from GitHub. And it's fetching the code of the master branch. Okay. Good. Looks like it pulled it down. So right here is the code, uh, the code that I created based on the random word generator game that answered the stack overflow question. Um, so I'm going to just run it, show you what it does. So to run it, you just do Python. Here I'm going to look at what it's called. You can do so. This is right here's the files that are here. You can um, and you can just do um, uh, just you want to run it the actually Python game file. And um, hi. So then I'm running it, and I'm gonna have to guess what the word is. No, I actually don't know what the word is, <laughs> uh, but I can usually guess. But this one looks a little hard. So no, that's not it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to close this out and run it again, see if it comes up with a... Uh, tread. So if I guess the wrong one, it says sorry not to it. Um, and then if I guess the right one, tread. Huh. 
start. There it goes. So now it says thank you for playing. That's you got got it. So I didn't get these first two words right, but then I was eventually able to get start. Um, so that's the game. You're just supposed to unjumble the the word, and that's it. So that kind of shows you what the word does, and to quickly show you how you would add a word list and how I got a word list into the game. Um, what I did was I just did a Google search for various word lists, but one Google search search I did was. Uh, word lists by grade level because I wanted some easier word lists and uh, so I just did that Google search and there are actually I did word lists dictionaries at grade level And there's a lot of, there's this one site, idealgroup.org, that slash dictionary, that has word lists from various grade levels with lots of words. You know, it shows you how many. Um, so I'm going to add an eighth grade word list to the program. This doesn't exist in the program. I, th I thought it would be a good experience to just add a program and uh, add another word list file. It's great words, um, so you could it would, could walk you through how this pro. I think adding it would kind of walk, walk you through how this program works. So here's the main driver of this program is this main function. The main function can get a words from file or get word list from the web. And for the sake of brevity, I'm just going to get the word list from the web. And yeah, and then this main file is what shuffles the word, has the game loop. Um, and so that's how, you know, that's the main driver of the function. So it, the, one of the first things it does is get this word list from this world word list. So I'm going to add the creation, uh, a, a word list from web. Um, and I'm going to call it. Eighth grade word list, and this is going to pull in a new word list, and I'm going to use this word list instead of the old one, so it tells you which one to use. So I'm going to use that, and I think that's all I need to do. So I'm going to run this again and see if it works. Um, actually, I'm going to add a little bit of debugging code to make sure I'm getting this eighth grade word list. So you can add just a, a print statement here. Show the shovel word to see. I mean, to show if it's whether it's from the word list, a word list from file. Print words from file plus. Word list. So I'm just doing this to make sure. I know where I'm getting the word list from. Let's call 
random word. So, oops, so I made a mistake, unsupported type for little and string, you know, that I'm uh, still learning here in Python. So um, it looks like there's two different types and I'm going to need to convert the bool to an int. Um, Words with file, so way to convert it is just add the string and yeah, and look, it's not reading from the file and it's getting the the eighth, oops, I misspelled it. Eighth grade word list. Eight. Grade. Now I gotta fix it here and then I also have to fix it here. So that's how easy it is to add, just the word list. Um, so the word list is getting it from a file. Um, from a file, it's going to be, it's going to have to clean it from many files is going to, have to clean if it's a byte file it's going to have to clean from the format the words to make sure the words are uh, in a good format not all the files have a correct format so to make sure so to just kind of walk you through it says get words from file i'm not doing that i'm getting words from the web so get word list from the web that's what's getting these word let this word list here it's getting it there and just returning it using requests that are from uh, requests um, library. And after it uses, gets the request, it cleans them by format words. Um, that format words is taking all the, uh, it's only taking words that have greater than one and then it's checking them for bytes. Um, if it's bytes, it converts them to, um, decodes them into uh, UTF-8, like string characters. Um, and it's only getting words from a minimum and a maximum length. And this is where all the settings are, all the game settings at the top. So it says word length to a certain um, uh, length because if it's too long, it'll be hard to jumble. If it's too short, it will be easy to jumble. Um, like an easy, too easy to figure out. Um, and then from there, the the random the random portion of the these words. Uh, I mean, this game is it's doing a random dot choice, which just randomly chooses from a list. So it chooses a, a word from a random word from a list, and then. It, it's going to generate a unique shuffled uh, word, which means it's a unique jumbled word where it goes through this class called sequence, map, uh, sequence matcher that matches, that, that, uh, makes sure that it's jumbled to a certain present. And this is actually a, a very interesting function that you can click on a link in the, the article and it'll take you to the exact code details of sequence matcher and it's uh, yeah so that ensures a certain shuffle level or jumble levels um, so that's that's pretty much it with the game and uh, and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed following along and you and you were able to learn something new and or, and it, it enjoyed uh, playing the game. And there's a lot of things that can be added to this game. And uh, actually, jumble words are pretty uh, pretty popular game. So you could it's definitely possible to extend this uh, game and 
make it so it's uh, you know that you, you increase the fun for the end users. All right, well, so thank you very much, uh, thanks to your community for following along, and it was a lot of uh, a lot of fun for me for me to just go through this game. All right, bye.